two chefs go head to head in this cooking competition. They cook two meals and are judged by one mummy. Who will win? Chef off. Hi everyone. So this is Mama Judge. I'm going to be judging the chef off of my daughter Nana and my son Bobo. I guess this will be uh, an occasion for me to see you know how they've uh, learned from what I've taught them in the kitchen. Okay so I'm going to be looking for certain criteria. I'm going to be looking for taste and flavor to start with. I'm going to be looking for presentation and I'm going to be looking for complexity of the you know the, the dish. Okay so these are the three main areas that I'm going to be basing on my judgment on. And may the best girl or boy win. Hi, I'm Nana and I'm the older sibling. I've been cooking since I was born, so it's crazy to me that my stupid little brother thinks that he could win Chef Off. What? <laughs> I was born first, so I'm gonna come first. Yeah! I have no plans on losing. So my name is Bobo. I am second born. And I will win because I don't think my sister knows what she's doing in the kitchen. My sister needs to be humbled. <laughs> to be honest, I'm just doing this to show off that I can cook, so, ladies. Today I'm cooking some jollof rice. Good old jollof rice and chicken. So I'm going to get started by blending some onions for the tomato sauce that is the base of jollof rice. So I've blended my onions. I'm now going to separate this onion mix into two parts. One for the rice, one for the chicken. Now I'm about to season the chicken. I'm just mixing a few herbs and spices out of my mom's um, herb draw. I don't even know what most of these are, but they taste good. So <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna put some in there. And what I like to do is mix them all in one container and then, you know, adjust the flavor as I go along. Because not all the herbs, like the cube doesn't dilute, doesn't crush very finely, I put a little bit of hot water to dissolve the whole mixture. Yeah, so I put a little bit of hot water to like dissolve and mix up the whole mixture properly. A little later I'm going to add in my onion mix so the chicken will be seasoned throughout, like everything will taste the same, you know what I'm saying? Ooh, that's nice. It's spicy. Yeah, yeah, I like that. I'm gonna pour this on my chicken. Okay, so this is the chicken sitting in its juices. It's rice time. So we started off with some oil in the pan, just waiting for that to heat up. I'm about to add my onions in. So I'm gonna make the stew for the base, and I'm gonna add a couple things, you know. Pasata. So while the stew is cooking, I'm going to put the chicken in the oven and let it cook too. Okay, so now I'm cutting some veggies to add to my meal. And yeah, I'm just doing some carrots and some cauliflower. Okay, so the rice is ready.
Comparatively to lasagne, it was a more complex dish in terms of the, the, the time involved to prepare it. In, with regard to the taste, I think her rice, her jollof rice, let her down a bit. I've, um, I've tasted better jollof rice from Nana, but this time around, I think in, in terms of taste and flavor, you know, it wasn't quite up to my expectation. The chicken was very well flavored, very tasty. Putting that together with the mixed vegetables, you know, carrots and, uh, and uh, cauliflower, not too soggily done, and you know, well presented, you know, made her dish very, very appealing to look at and you know, and and, and to eat. This is preparation for my lasagna. As you can see, I brought my ingredients. I don't know what any of the spices are because it's my mom's kitchen. Really quickly, check out all of these windows. They can be a pain to clean. See what I did there? No? Okay. <laughs> so I've got the water boiling. Start making my sauces. So, um, Introduce these guys into the, the fray. We're going to move on to the next stages of our sauce. You keep the onions on low heat, just let them soften up a bit, you know? Put more sheets in the fire, in the water. <laughs> so, our butter is completely melted. That's where you introduce the flour, okay? Basically what you're trying to go for. Just leave it in a bit more, add a bit more flour. Now we add the milk to the roux. And you add it in small amounts so it can completely be absorbed. You mix it until it's completely absorbed, then you add more. So yeah, the difference between me and my sister is I cook with love. <laughs> you just keep adding milk. Also, the thing is with this sauce, as I've kind of failed to do, the temperature difference of the milk makes the paste clump up. So you want to add it a bit more gradually than I did, but I can fix this because I have experience. So now, we yeah, add the meat. Okay. Keep an eye on the paste, our white sauce, our bechamel. I just added some cheese to the white sauce to make it that cheese sauce I mentioned. Just experiment. Now we're gonna uh, make our tomato sauce with the mincemeat flavor. Uh, so yeah, just add your pasta. Cheese sauce? Yes, boss. So now we're gonna put it together. Red sauce. Don't be afraid to just whack it on there. Mm -hmm. 
Did you do it all over again. Ladies and gentlemen, the finished product. Not even going down. Let's see what it tastes. It tastes like. Mm. Mm. It's nice actually. Yeah. Close. <laughs> nice actually. <laughs> it is nice. No, but it is nice. Of course it's nice. Well, I know that you're young and I know you're naive. Bobo was, you know, smart in terms of, you know, taking the easy way out. In his choice of dish, you know, in making the lasagne, you know, it was you know easy to do. But in terms of taste and flavor and presentation, I think he he did a great job. The lasagne was very moist and tasty. It was it had body which means that you know when you cut it it, it held together but all together you know all the blend of flavors and the creaminess of the lasagne and, and the, the cheesiness the crisp the, you know the crispy top you know all together you know, went down very well So finally, we've come to the end of the uh, chef of you know competition uh, with Nana and Bobo. My the final scores for the two contestants is 8.5 for Bobo and 7.5 for Nana. And this is these are very good scores, very you know impressive scores for for you know, and which makes me feel very proud as a mom to say that you know everything I've been teaching them they have you know they are taking it in and they are they've been learning and I hope it it, it, it improves with other trials in the kitchen the winner of the uh, chef of competition congrats Bobo well done thank you well done yeah, okay. <laughs> so, you see this is what happens when you mess with me in the kitchen <laughs> Well done, Nana. I know you will do better next time. Okay? Courage. <laughs> Winner! <laughs> okay, so I gotta give props for props to do. Bubu did a good job. I completely underestimated him. Mission accomplished. So yeah, I always knew I was gonna win. Because lasagna.